Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're creating an archive template with the listing grid widget that you can find in Jet Engine add-on for Elementor. So for now, what I need to do is to make sure that you have created a listing for the post type that you want to create the archive template for. So you can access all of your listings if you go to Jet Engine listings. And here you can view all the existing listings and create a new one. I have already created a listing for the team members post type. This is the custom post type. And here is how it looks. And now I need to go to Crocoblock and then click my library. And here in the theme parts section, I need to go to archive. And here I'm going to view all of the active and existing archive templates that I have in my theme. And I'm going to click add new and give it a name and create this template. From here, what I'm going to do is to go to my left hand bottom corner and click on this cogwheel icon. And in the conditions tab, I'm going to go to archive. And here in the archive, I'm going to select the post type archives in my case, but you go and select whatever you need for your purpose. I select post type archives and here I choose the post types that I want this archive template to be applied to. In my case, this is team members and I remove the post, post type, the default one, and I go to the preview tab and in the preview, I'm going to select the post type that I want to see here in the preview window in the Elementor editor. And of course, this is team members. So in order for this settings, in particular for the preview settings to be applied in here, I'll need to save the changes and reload the page. Let's do that. Let's click publish and reload. Now in the elements panel, I will find the listing grid and I'll drop it over there. And there in the general tab, I'll find the listing that I have created for this post type. Here it goes, team members listing. And it pulls out the listing grid containing the existing posts that I have in my team members post type. Here I change the columns number, the post number. Enable the user's archive template option if you want the widget to pull out the number of posts to be displayed from the reading settings. And I go ahead and I tweak all the settings for this particular listing grid. But for now, I'm pretty satisfied with this look. So I click update. And now I can go to the archive page where I can see this archive template being applied. So I'll simply need to type in the domain of my website, then slash, and then the slug of the post type that I want to see the archive of. So here it goes. And now I see that my archive template has been applied to the archive page of the team members post type. So this is how we create an archive template with Jet Engine plugin for Elementor. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.